What I want to do is to push all this to the right and then have a left sidebar that goes all the way down. So let's adjust the layout to fit in the new sidebar. We'll wrap everything inside a container, then we'll have the sidebar, and another container for the top bar and the main content. Now the main wrapper will be a flex with a minimum height set to the height of the viewport, so min h screen, then the sidebar will have a fixed width, a BG gray 50 as a background, and a border right. If we check this on a larger screen, we'll see that the main content doesn't stretch all the way out. We can fix that by adding the flex1 class. So I'll go here and say class flex1. And there we go. The first thing I want to add to this sidebar is the logo, and for that I'll have a wrapper to add some padding. So we'll have a div py4, px6, then a link, and the logo. Now for the logo, I have an SVG snippet in my clipboard, but instead of pasting it directly in here, since this is a JetStream application, I'll open the application logo component and replace its contents. Then we'll do application logo, let's say with full h9, and of course we need to import the component. Import application logo from, we'll go one up, Jetstream application logo, and save. There we go. Moving on, below the logo, we'll have three navigation sections. So we'll do div mb10 times three. We'll have main, library, and following. Let's style these headings a bit. We'll do h3, mx6, mb2, text access, text gray 400, uppercase, and then tracking widest. Tracking widest will increase the spacing between characters, making small text easier to read. Now the logo, even though it has the same padding as the navigation headings, it appears to be misaligned. That's because my SVG is messed up. So if I click here, there's this small spacing. Now I'm not a Figma expert, but I can just drop this here, remove this I think, delete, and now it's all the way here. So I'll copy the SVG, go back, open the application logo, and replace this one. And that's better. Back to our navigation, let's add our first item, which will be the home link. We'll also have an icon, and since we have hero icons installed, we can just do home icon h5 with 5 text gray 400 and let's say margin right 2. Of course we need to import the icon, so I'll copy it, go here, save, and there we go. Now let's align the icon with the label, and for that we can do class flex items center. Let's also give it some padding, so px6, py 2.5, text gray 500, and on hover let's make it orange, text orange 600. Let's hover it, and there we go. It would be nice for the icon to also change its color when we hover. For that we can add group to the parent, and then use the group hover variant to style the icon. And there we go. Now for the rest of the menu items, instead of duplicating this block right here, we can have an array with all the elements and then loop over them. So we'll go down here and say data, return, main navigation, which will be an array where we'll have ref, 
label, which will be home, and then icon, which will be home icon. Then we'll have most recommended, which will have the heart icon, and most commented, which will have the chat icon. Let's import these and register them and then go up and do v4 in main navigation we'll have item dot ref item dot label and for the icon we'll do component and then we'll pass an is prop which will be item dot icon and here we go. Let's do the same for the library. We'll get this, paste it here, and I forgot to add the key, so we'll do key equals index, and the same for the above. And we'll have library navigation. Here to make things faster, I will just paste in the items. And here we go. Now for the last section, the following section, we'll have pretty much the same thing, but instead of an icon, we'll have an image URL. So we'll have following, and then ref, label, and image URL. Now if we go up, we'll have basically the same thing, but instead of the component, we'll have an image. With 7, h7, rounded, full, and margin right 2. For the source, we'll have item.imageURL, and we need to replace this with following. And that's it for now. Make sure you watch the next video, we'll be turning this sidebar into a slide over menu for smaller screen sizes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.